Gdush. Hey, hey, Bill Nye the Science Guy here. Recently, I've been confused with another Bill, Bill Belichick. He and his quarterback, Tom Brady, claim that the reason the footballs felt especially soft, that ball seems a little soft to me, was due to natural weather conditions there at the football field. Let's say that these footballs were inflated in a back room. There's big, sweaty football players moving around. <clears throat> Let's say it was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature plummeted to it. 51 degrees Fahrenheit. It's probably colder than that where you are right now. If we change that just 30 degrees, you're looking at about a 6% change. You're off by a factor of about two and a half. But one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. So we're gonna take these footballs and put them in the refrigerator. We've set the refrigerator to 51 degrees Fahrenheit. That's too warm for food, it would all spoil. Gross! But this, my friends, is science. While we have a few minutes here, I'd like to talk about something else. Climate change is real! While we're all obsessed with Deflategate, let's keep in mind that there's something about which you should give a f Yes, like Tom Brady, the world's getting hotter and hotter. And you know why? Because we humans are pumping carbon dioxide in the atmosphere every time we burn fossil fuels, when we burn gasoline in our cars, and when Tom Brady and Bill Belichick start talking for two and a half hours at press conferences, spewing out carbon dioxide, making climate changes that much worse. What should we do about this? You should vote for congressmen and senators that appreciate the threat of climate change and the rate at which the world is getting warmer so that we can preserve the earth for humankind for generations to come. And oh. ah. We just got this ball out of the fridge and it's pretty much the same. I think the Patriots probably bent the rules a little bit. A seemingly insignificant thing. But I do want to close with this. Go Seahawks!